Good day, everyone. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. I believe we are all watching from different corners of the world, yeah. And so we welcome you again to the Gospel Truth, powered by Promote Gospel TV and supported by HQ Multimedia. I'm sure you had a wonderful time watching the very first episode that was released last Friday. And if you haven't watched it, oh my God, you are missing out on something. Abby Christopher, what do you, what do you, you are say? You're missing out. <laughs> you better go and yeah, watch go it. Go and watch it, please. Please, please, please. Go and, go and watch it. Okay, so today we have a very interesting topic we want to talk about. And I have, as always, my co-host here, Christabel. Would you say hi to the viewers? Hi, I'm Christabel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we welcome you to the show once again. You're welcome. Yeah, so today we have a very, very important topic we want to discuss. Of course, we are still talking about believers. We are believers, and so whatever we are saying here today also applies to us. Yeah, so we are going to be talking about the believers' playlist. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's your hmm. It's so powerful. It's a serious matter. <laughs> it's a serious matter, right? Okay, mm. so so we are talking about the believers' playlist today. The believers' playlist. So, Christabel, I don't know. Do you have anything to say about you know? Do you have anything you want to give us as an introduction to this topic that we have for today? Well, today's topic is is a really serious matter. Yeah. It's really serious. A believer's place is very important. And a a place is just a collection of songs, mm -hmm. collection of songs, different genres, different type of songs in a person's phone. Yeah. Or maybe through an app or maybe a folder where the person, the owner of the phone keeps the songs yes. for listening purposes, definitely, yeah. or playing purposes. And so. you are the one in control. Yes. You are the one that chooses the song. Yeah, the one. Will be yeah, there, it's not. Play. It's not like it's an app, or, it, or it, it's not like it's an app that is going to do the arrangement or the picking of the songs for you. You are yes, the one that you will, download the songs yes, or you choose be, the songs that will be on your playlist hmm. in your phone. And so, and you know, there's this. I don't know. I, I I've come to see that um, believers don't have we believers because, like I said, whatever we say here, it also applies to yes, us. Definitely. Yeah. So. What kind of playlist, what kind of songs is it right for us to have in our playlist? What kind of songs? Because it's like there's no, there's no boundary anymore. Mm. We just go for any kind of music as long as it's trending. Any music that suits how I'm feeling at that particular point in time, I'll listen to it. Even before it suits our feeling, it has <laughs> to trend first. Yes. It's trending, so I must know it. Uh -huh. I must listen to I it. I must listen to it. I must use it as a a a, a, a song under my video to do a reels video. Yes. and you know all of that. Because it's trending. Yeah, I must jump on it. Yes, exactly. But is it right as Christians to you know just jump on any song, any kind of music, as long as oh, okay, that is what is in town, that is what is popular? Should there be a bound? Shouldn't there be a boundary? Yeah, there should be a boundary. Well, in, in this um, discussion, I think we'll be splitting we'll be splitting songs into okay. three categories. Okay. We should okay. We'll split them into three categories. Okay. The first category is Christian songs. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Songs, our songs. Yes. Our our own songs. The one yes, the ones that the one that takes us to yes. the place of worship. Believers yes. songs. Yes. Christian songs. That's yeah. category number one. Okay. Category number two, secular songs. Okay. And category number three, worldly songs. Hmm. So, Ma, can you help decipher this <laughs> secular and worldly? This secular and worldly thing is... <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of controversy about secular, secular songs, songs and worldly songs. Secular songs and worldly songs. Yes. Okay, well, what I feel is when we are talking about a secular song, a secular song is not a song that is appealing to, appealing to the, gos the gospel audience. Mm. It's actually meant for the non-religious audience. That's the secular, because it is not like there are songs that glorifies god no 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 yeah that it's not like there are songs that glorifies god in the real sense That's of it, it. Yeah. yeah but i'll still say that when we are putting secular and worldly you know beside each other i'll say that a secular music can still be consumed depending on the context hmm. word right because we still have some songs that you know 
they talk about the beauty of nature yes they don't necessarily okay of course beauty of nature it glorifies god who created nature <laughs> <laughs> who created nature it is god who created nature yeah. so you know but some songs they talk about the beauty of friendship mm, they yeah. talk about the beauty of love yeah and so you know those songs they are i, I feel that they are still okay for Christians to say, okay, I can have in my playlist because there are some messages is passing across. There are some messages it yes. passes across to us to make us, you know, feel some kind of emotions and you know all of that. But when we come to worldly, hmm. gang, gang. you know those songs that they, they are they are deep, deep, deep in the world. You know these are songs that I feel that they don't even in any way promote anything that has to do with God. Hmm. Because what 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 the songs represent, they are not even things that you know. There's a particular in, pa- part of the Bible that's in in Romans twelve verse two. He said we should not be conformed to this world, but we should be transformed by the yeah, renewal of, of our, our mind. mind. Yeah. And when we are constantly transformed by the renewal of our mind, we'll be able to decipher which actually glorifies god mm. and which is not what we should even have in our playlist yeah. but the truth of the matter is, is it possible for us not to even listen to secular music the it's truth, not possible it's not possible it's not you are walking you are sleeping in your house your neighbor is playing it and it's loud it's loud and your brain your mind <laughs> is speaking it it's recording it it's later re- to start playing by itself exactly unconsciously you are doing yes. your regular your regular house chores or whatever you are doing and the song just it just comes out of your How mouth and you're like there? ah no no i shouldn't be singing this song even in the car in the bus you the the, the driver so you know some drivers they have this mixtape that mm. they and most of the time to stop playing most it. of the time their mixtapes are the core wordly you know the yeah. core wordly songs so there's no way we we cannot do without listening to them but how long do we dwell on them mm. how long do we dwell on them do you listen to it and after listening to it oh this is a nice song you see it as a song that you should go and add into your playlist no. do you understand what i'm saying so i feel that um there was something you were saying about not all secular i can't remember that phrase you were saying uh, about all songs i think i got i i think i'm actually quoting some a gospel musician a gospel um, minister okay he said not uh, all songs all worldly songs are secular okay but not all secular songs are worldly okay so okay. there are some secular songs that we can still accommodate as christians to have yes. on our playlist yeah so and i believe that there's a f- there are some factors that we need to consider when yeah, we can't just know. consume songs like that when you hear a song for the first time i think there are some things you need to check in the song before you add it to your playlist yeah. or before you regularly listen to it yeah. uh things like what's the purpose of the song yeah what's the song talking about what's it trying to portray yes what's what are the lyrics of the song what are you singing? It's not Please. even about the sound now. Please, uh, before we even come to sound, what are you <laughs> listening to? What are the lyrics of the song? How can you be singing a song that is saying, uh, my head no correct, something <laughs> like that? <laughs> uh, do you understand? You can't, you can't be doing that. Yes. Words are powerful and these lyrics actually contain words. So you, yeah. can't, you can't be found doing that as yeah. a believer. You yeah. cannot. Words are powerful. Your words are powerful. The songs that you sing, they have power so you shouldn't be yes. listening to just any song screen the lyrics yes. like should i be listening to this should i be playing this should i be singing it because you already know that your mind now records the songs mm-hmm. that you hear even mistakenly yes so unconsciously you just you know you just stay somewhere in your in your in your mind so even if it's something you don't even like at the end of the day your mind starts replaying it yes so yes. it has to be yes. a deliberate choice like mm-hmm. am i meant to be listening to this song am i meant mm-hmm. to be dwelling on it mm-hmm. and the lyrics of the song is actually the message of the song yes the so one lyric- message is the song yes Karen. so what 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 is he appealing to is he appealing to your high uh, to our to your higher nature as a believer which is the christ-like life that yeah. god intends for us that's after you've been transformed you know you've allowed god to transform you so is it is a song appealing to the higher nature 
mm-hmm. of who God has made you to be? Or is it appealing to the lower nature of who you decide to be? You know, this higher nature and lower nature, they are in conflict on, of, of each other mm-hmm. all the time. And the higher nature is always ready to produce the fruit of the spirit, yes. love, joy. joy. So are the songs you are listening to, are they producing some things other than those fruits of the spirit? Mm. They should be producing love, joy, peace, gentleness, patience. Just like Galatians 5 says. Do you understand? But if the songs are appealing to the lower nature, the one that produces envy, hunger, hatred, it's not for you. covetousness, you know, and, and the likes, it is then it is not for you it is it is not that there, there are no songs that you should think of having yeah in I your playlist i won't fail to mention that there are actually different kinds of songs yeah. there are songs for entertainment purposes there are songs for that you play at weddings there are songs i play at events mm-hmm. the truth is music they deal with words yes and when we talk about words they come from what you take into your mind mm-hmm. It is from what you have in your mind that you bring out your words. Do you understand? Yeah. So if music is all about words, I feel that the, whatever applies to the things we say also applies to the kind of music that we, you know, we take in, we, we listen to, and all of that. Because if you are listening to songs that influences you in an ungodly manner, mm. then... You need to you need to recalibrate that your you need to <laughs> recalibrate recalibrate it. that your that your 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 playlist. Yeah, you need to think of songs that you start taking out of your playlist from mm. now. Even as we are talking now, like yeah. <laughs> those songs that you know they don't edify you. Yeah, take it out. Fine, you can have secular songs, but be particular about the kind of secular songs mm-hmm. because they are secular and they are worldly songs. Mm-hmm. So be particular about the ones you want to. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is good. Uh, like the scripture says, but not everything is beneficial to yes, you. Yes, all things are lawful. Not all not everything. Things are ben- you don't, you don't, expedient. The fact that people are doing doesn't mean you should be you doing should it. The fact that people are listening to it is trending doesn't mean it should be trending for you to yes. be specific. Choose the one you yes, want. Yes, yes. And even for me, there are some secular songs that when you listen to the audio, it's you love it. Mm. But there's just one thing that will just put you off along the line when you now watch the video. What is like? Will you watch the video of a song that the song is nice audio wise? Okay. But when you watch the video, there are some things that are not necessary to be in the video, like nudity, like the you know, and the likes. And you just sit there and you're like, ah, but do they really have to? They want to appeal to a particular <laughs> kind of audience. Audience. I think I think that's why they and do that. some believers are falling into that that part of audience. Be separate. <laughs> Be separate. separate yourself exactly <laughs> you should separate yourself it is important that we separate ourselves and you know these songs what do they remind you of as, mm. as a believer we did not all come into this world as a believer yeah even if you grew up in a godly environment in a mm. godly family there is a place where you really need to understand the fact that you give your life to christ do you understand and so before you get to that place there are some things that you might just consider as normal because of an understanding or the level of your maturity as a as a christian you know the bible says that if if you are a new creature all things have passed away away. all things have become New. new so if the songs that you are listening to they are kind of taking you back Hmm, to the things that you've left to the things that you've left Hmm. it's it is it is a red flag i believe that it's a red flag that oh no this song i'm i'm not i'm not going back to the way of the world i'm not going back never again i'm not going back i have i have my life in christ so consciously it is something that we should be conscious about Hmm. as a believer there are so many things and music is just one of those things that you know determines what comes in and out out. of our minds what Mm. comes in and out of our minds so i just feel that we should like you said we should be separate yeah we should we should be separate and it comes from a very conscious um a very from a place of consciousness yes and intentionality yes and according to matthew 12 34 if um 
if i got it right you the things you actually consume or listen to will definitely affect your words and your actions later yeah. on there's no how out of the abundance of the hearts there's no how the mouth so speaks. what you spend time what you put your what you consume you cannot just pick anything and start eating mm. it you can't just even down to where we go and buy food when you want to eat out and all that you are very specific about the place what you want eat. to eat yes is it clean what kind of ingredients do they use do they use this and my body reacts to this and that but at the end of the day when it comes to music what you listen to you are not that picky you you allow it you go that's for anything you consume it. anything goes that's, yes you can feed your spirit man with the word of god and also true music too the kind of um, lyrics the song has some songs are faith filled so you're actually feeding yourself so why are you not particular about the kind of songs you're listening to why are you consuming everything mm-hmm. when you won't consume every food you see how do you even want the holy spirit to do what is expected to do yes yeah, some songs will conflict it will just it will belief just, system. it will just choke it will choke the mind choke everything <laughs> Of course, it cannot choke the Holy Spirit, At but all. you know, it will just your, your mind will just be so choking that the Holy Spirit will be like, oh no, 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 this I, I can't, I can't, I can't thrive here. You are expecting something from God. You are on a spiritual exercise. Maybe you are fasting or something. Mm-hmm. So when you are fasting, is it this playlist that are worldly that you you continue to dwell on, to dwell on? How do you want to pray? How do you want to meditate? One funny scenario <laughs> just came to my mind. Okay. Now it it. Um, I saw it on Instagram, but I think that's happened to me before in the past. Okay. Uh, you are playing songs mm. from your phone, and let's say you are cleaning the house and mm. all that. And all of a sudden, you are singing a very spiritual song. Yes. Maybe a song from maybe a song from one of these popular gospel uh, Artists, ministers. And, yeah. and before you knew it, the song stops, and the next song that comes <laughs> in. <laughs> I don't imagine it. The next song that comes in is a very Ah, that song does not correlate. It's, it's not godly. It's it's it deeply just, it, secular. It just it just breaks the flow. It just breaks, and you see yourself looking for your phone, trying to turn it on, and trying to. It no, just breaks stress. the flow. It, that stress will not be flow. there if you actually have a very good playlist. You will not be bothered to be doing that. What yes. if you are playing it? What if you come into a place and they're like, "Oh, connect your phone to the Bluetooth." Mm-hmm. And it's a gospel setting, and you are playing song, and all of a sudden the song changes and. Even now, this I don't want to call names, <laughs> but somebody's song starts playing and everyone knows how that song is. Yeah. What will happen? What would what would I say about you? How would you start looking for your phone to change? To it's change. embarrassing. Yes, it's embarrassing. So you are known for something. Stick to it. You yes. are a believer. Yes. Have a lovely playlist. Yes. You know, sometimes you can even be having your quiet time. Ma. <laughs> <laughs> You can be having a quiet time. Maybe you are praying, like you are trying to pray and all of that. And there's this what this song. Maybe probably because if it has been on replay uh, along the places that you just moved, comes up. it just comes up in your mind. It happens to me sometimes. In fact, some of those times I'm like, no, 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 I, I'm not supposed to sing this song. So some of those times I just try to get a set. Um, a playlist of gospel songs, mm. and I just try to, you know, listen over and over and over yeah. to 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 get my mind to Off get me. yes to to, to detoxify. <laughs> it's not to easy de- to detoxify my mind. Yeah, and this playlist thing now, it's not even, it's no longer a personal thing. You even see Christian wedding receptions mm. that you cannot even specifically vet with your dj that i don't want this kind of songs i just remembered <coughs> watch a new video that the man was saying that is not my song <laughs> that is not <laughs> that like caused that, a lot of controversy that on the was internet a, that was not even a secular song right that is not my song <laughs> it was the sound that you yeah, know yeah but he all... actually has the right anyway to choose the kind of songs that will be played in his wedding he has the right but yeah. as believers we should also that's part of our shining yes the light then let, let, let people come to your wedding reception and be like, ah, they did not even sing one worldly song. Mm-hmm. And everybody was dancing. I've experienced it before. I experienced it in my wedding and other family weddings that, you know, we've, we've had. So, so it's something that we can make happen if we are not particular about what people will say. Mm-hmm. If you are not particular about, ah, it's not going to trend. What's, what's trending for? It's trending, it's trending the, 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 the way to heaven. 
Yes, it's good to trend, but let yes, us trend with trend. things that glorifies God. Mm-hmm. Let's trend with things that shines light to the world. Yeah. Not trending with things that further gets the society deep and deep and deep into immoralities, into things that are not good. And one, of, one thing I noted about these worldly songs, although it has been for a very long time, some of these songs, they encourage violence. Yeah. Some encourage drug abuse. Some even glorifies sex as something that you can have or do with anybody, anytime, anywhere. Mm-hmm. Whereas that is not the purpose for which God created that. It's meant to be a glorified union between a husband and wife. Do you understand? So if those are the things that the songs are trying to promote, why should you have it in your playlist? Why should you have it in your playlist? It is, it is, it's, not, it's not supposed to be there. It's not supposed to be there. Another, another thing is some, some people will say, oh, I love the instrumental, I love the song. You know, it got to a point in the Nigerian music industry where the lyrics of their songs were so worldly. Yeah. But the instrumental were... You, you know instrumental you, of songs you now? When you hear it, you yes. just have to move your so body. So whether the song is saying rubbish, whether the song is saying you are crazy, you are mad or something, or not, you don't care. But the instrumental is what is... The beat, at, as long I as you can the dance, no, you can, I'm, I'm you can be body. The the of the song. I love the beat of the song. <laughs> the beat is... Somehow, somehow, the lyrics of the song get stored. It sticks. It gets... It, it, it sticks. sticks to your mind. It, it gets stored. So... I don't know. For for me, I feel that as a believer, we should have um, songs that we should relate with songs that are glorifying to God. They shouldn't be songs that takes us away from God, but they should be songs that draws us closer mm-hmm. to God. We should enjoy music that lifts our spirits up. You know, that glorifies God, lifts our spirits up. We should seek for music that 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 how pleasing yeah. to God and even healthy for our spiritual minds, you know, for our spirituality. Our spirituality is meant to be renewed, you know, just like the Bible said, we should be transformed by the renewing of oh our mind. mind. And of course, if you are doing all of that, if you are in sync with the Holy Spirit, uh-uh, it will give you a nudge when you are listening or dancing to a song that... <laughs> <laughs> that is not ah. Uh, you just you just you too. You feel it that uh, oh no 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 no. Why no. am I why am I singing, why am this, I singing song? this song? Why am I listening to this song? You know. So it's just important for us to be careful as to what we take in when we come to this um, playlist yeah. as a believer. Do you have and, anything? And speaking from a place of we've all been there. No lies. Mm. We've all been there. The best. The best. Actually songs to listen to are songs that uplift you yeah. songs that glorifies god songs that f- have lyrics that fit field mm. these days now it's all about confessions like what kind of confessions do you make and all that mm. so you are singing songs with lyrics those mm. lyrics should actually uplift your spirit should mm. edify you should glorify god so it gives you freedom from sin and guilt you just have this freedom that is you, change your yes. playlist like yes. right now change it go change and take it. away those songs that you know that their lyrics don't they don't they will not benefit you go and take them away you. speaking from a place we've been there yes we've, yeah there's no, nobody there's nobody that hasn't gone through there, that face. so it's, it's not like but, condemning or anything but yes those songs will not help you from a place of understanding you believer, so maturity your playlist should actually be different yes it should be different and yeah. if your playlist is is what glorifies God, you know, it won't allow, it will, it will, like I said, I said it's freedom from sin and guilt. Yeah. And there's one Bible verse I just want to read. It said, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, mm. that it should obey, that you should obey in the lust thereof. Neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness. Mm-hmm. So the moment you have all of this, then un- unconsciously, you start yielding yourself as an instrument to unrighteousness just unconsciously you would you wouldn't even know gradually you just you know you just be you just be this is the kind of song you want to be listening to by the time it starts ministering to you in the worldly (laughs) in the worldly way philippians 4 verse 8 as as like a summary of everything Mm. whatsoever things are pure pure lovely true see as many as possible just Mm. let it be your filter yes let it be your filter so Think on these things. Think on it. Fuel yourself with it, your yeah. playlist with those kind yeah. of things. So mm. at the end of the day, 
everything goes well. Yes, and it helps you to guard your hearts with all yes. diligence. It helps you to guard your heart with all diligence. So I believe that <laughs> <laughs> we we've, we've we've kind of done justice to this topic. <laughs> Hooray. Yeah, yeah. So um thank you so much for watching. I'm sure that I guess Christopher doesn't have anything to say no, any no, no. longer. That'll be all. That will be all. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Please, if you have any comments, if you have any thoughts, please share in the comment section. And of course, share with your friends to watch this, right? Mm -hmm. Share with your friends to watch this. We also have it available as a podcast. You can always, you know, check. Would you like to share the information? Yeah, right? as a podcast, you can just listen. If yeah. you would be too busy to hold your phones and watch the video, you can just listen. Plug and it will save your or, data. Yes. <laughs> Plug your ears while you're walking and all that and listen and also follow us. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at Promote Gospel TV. Yes. God bless you. And all social media platforms. Yeah. So it's the gospel truth. Shaking tables. Using, using the, the scriptures. scriptures. <laughs> See you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.